good day. I'm Elsid Isbal Barino. Teaching Science 7 is a challenging task in this new normal city. However, with the aid of gadget and ICT aligned platforms, the topic and competencies covered in this presentation is more fun and easier. As well, I am more excited because it improves me technically to hone my craft in teaching. I am presenting a video lesson for P7 Part 2 with Joel Kwan. Learning competency of this topic is to identify the parts of the microscope and its function. Then the objective at the end of this lesson, the students are expected to first is to enumerate the parts of the microscope, second, write and the function of the different parts of the microscope. Third, show willingness to enumerate the parts and function of the microscope. Good day, grade 7 students. It's another wonderful day to learn more. Welcome to our video lesson for Science 7, Quarter 2, Module 1. I am very excited to bring you to this lesson. It's all about, and before that, let's have a game. Are you familiar with the four picks one word? So let's begin. Okay, here's the picture. What can you say about that? Um, kanang mura siya giubo, ma'am. Kanang gisip on. Murag colds, ma'am. Nagka-cold siya. Then, the second picture. Mura siya sa COVID, ma'am. Ah, correct. Then, the, the, the third picture. Kuala siya, ma'am. Kaya na ganing. Giguba ang laptop kay kanang na ay murag na mga virus na nabutan. Ah, okay. So, the the fourth one. Kaya, mosquito na siya, ma'am. So, what Lamo. can you say the picture is all about? Virus na siya, ma'am. Correct. Okay, this is the second picture. What can you say about that? Ang first picture, ma'am, kay kana makuha niyo muna siya nga germs or microorganisms basta magunit mo sa kamot sa imong kaila, ma'am. Okay, then the second one. Kanang bacteria man siya, ma'am, kana makita sa microscope kani kinaman ang gagmay. Okay, the third one. Kuan, nag-hatching siya, ma'am, or disip on. Okay, then the fourth. Kuan, mura lagi mo siya sa murag bacteria, ma'am, pero murag lahi lang siya og kanang ah uh, murag kanang murag iyang design sa iyang iyang kanang kanang context sa iyang pagkabuhat mamura siya ag microbe or bacteria ang ana lang yakon so unsa may as a whole unsa may mo makit an ana nga picture ko an siya ma'am para sa mura siya sakit ma'am kanang disease kina consistent siya an nga tanan nga mga concept okay very good okay this is the last uh, four picks one word what can you say about that ang um, first picture ma'am kay mura na siya kanang Ko ano X-ray siya sa germs mam nga makita siya mam kana maklaro siya unsa ni siya nga type of germs. Mar siya germs git as a whole. Okay, then the second one. Ko ano siya mam kana mar siya groups of different groups sa isa ka germs. Mar siya mga characteristics like na itaas nga germs or microorganisms na pucay as a whole na mar siya tuldok tuldok. Mar siya mga types mam. So mar siya lain lain siya chora no. Then the third. Ko ano siya mam kana ganing um kana nakai i experiment nga mura bacteria tamara siya mura siya kana i butang ni mo siya para makita ni mo pila ka book ang ma kuan kina mo siya sa butanganan sa isa ka dish uh, mura plato na sa oh. plato no din the fourth uh, mura siya kana kuan ma microbe or bacteria gyapon ma so as a whole unsa may imong nakit an anak nga picture kuan uh, as a whole kay mura siya nag nag story about bacteria kay na may classic classic pud nga bacteria nakakita sa isa ka picture okay very good thank you santiya okay it's have another activity for us to know the topic of this morning uh, i give you uh, envelope inside of the envelope is this one the picture uh, arrange this one and discover the hidden picture inside the envelope. So, you can do it for five minutes. Okay, na humanaka o form sa katong gipangkat na ko ng mga picture. So, unsa may napurma sa mga cutting ng mga pictures na kung gihatag sa imo? My microscope, ma'am. Very good. So, our topic for today is all about microscope.
So in your own words, what is microscope? Para sa ako mam, ang microscope kay dira na to makita ang mga mo nang microscope kay micro dira na to makita ang mga gagmay nga mga butang gani mam like mga organism dira na makita ang mga germs kay kana kita with our bare eyes dili na to siya makita kay atong eyes dili siya para sa scope sa isa ka microscope ang microscope na siya mga lahi-lahi nga lenses nga magkaana man ang makita na to kung unsay sulod aning nga tahi butang na ba ni germs or mas study na to kung unsay characteristics aning nga germs or microorganisms. Sus ka bright niya kung estudyante. Oy, thank you, Santia! Okay, prepare yourselves as we discover more about wonderful world of science. Now, get your pen and your paper and your self-learning modules. Keep watching because at the end of this lesson, you are expected to enumerate the different parts of a, of a microscope and its function. The branch of science that tells the study of life is known as biology. One of the tools that is used by the scientists to study life is called microscope. With the invention of the microscope, we are able to understand life even better. Microscope is a tool that is used to see organism or object that are too small to be seen by the naked eye. The microscope makes the small objects look bigger. Some of the tiny objects or organisms that can be seen using the microscope are the following. The plant cells, animal cells, the microorganisms such as bacteria. Dilit ni nato makitaan sa atong mata but by the use of microscope makitaan ni siya. Kini siya kagmay kaayon ni uh, mao nang mogamit og microscope aron ma-discover nato unsa ang naa sa plant cells, animal cells and the bacteria. Other different strains of virus such as coronavirus can also be seen using a microscope. Uh, scientists are using the microscope in understanding the structure of the coronavirus to develop a vaccine for the coronavirus 2019 or the COVID-19. So the scientists eager na uh, study sila about aning unsay makitaan nila nga antibodies just to fight the coronavirus. So again, unsa ang tool nga gigamit nila just to discover the the antibodies the microscope. To understand how microscope works, we need to be familiar with the two terms. First is magnification, the second is the resolution. Magnification describes how much larger an object appears when viewed. Then, observe the onion cell. Na ada daw ka ba picture? Ang isa wala pa na siya na magnify, din ang isa mo na result sa magnification. So, as you can see, it is so small if you want to see it better, we can increase the magnification, the structure now looks bigger. And that is the magnification or the magnifying power of a microscope. Okay. On the other hand, resolution or the resolving power is the capacity of a microscope to distinguish small gaps between two separate points which human cannot distinguish. It is used to see the final details of an object. Compare the two pictures. Which picture shows a final detail of a plant cell? Tanawa, ang duha ka picture, picture A o the picture B, asa man diha ang nagpakita ng final detail sa plant cell. Letter B, ma'am. Kaya nga nung makaingon man ka nga, nagpakita na siya o ganang final details. So, sa letter A, makita na ito nga um, as a whole siya. So, bali, di na ito makita ko kung sa characteristics niya kay naman siya sa layo nga resolution. So, bali, ang iyong makapture kay kato lang murag kung sa drone na siya nga makalutanan mga tayo kung sa lugar makalutanan. Ang sa letter B, kay mas na-emphasize nga ni Ong nakafocus siya sa unsa nga part or specific area mo na siyang naingang nga detailed. Kaya din ang makita kung on say types ani on say characteristics pila tahay ka um nagbuo ani siya nga like complant cell unsa ang nag um sulod ani nga club ka nga sulod say sulod ani nga plant cell so it is considered more specified and more detailed compared to letter A 
Okay, very good. Thank you, Santia. This means that a picture A has a lower resolution and a picture B has a high resolution because more details of a plant cell are visible. So there are different types of microscope, but in this lesson, we are going to focus on a compound microscope. A compound microscope is an optical microscope that uses visible light to form an image. It uses glass lenses to magnify and resolve images. But why it is called a compound microscope? This type of microscope is called a compound microscope because it uses two or more double convex lenses to magnify an object. These two lenses can be found on the eyepiece and the objective of the microscope. Later on with our discussion, ato uh, nung makita na to asa ang eyepiece, asa ang mga objective sa part sa microscope. Compound microscope comprises of three major parts based on their functions. First is to magnify, second is illuminating, third is the mechanical parts. To quantify is to padako siya sa object. Illuminating is, as we can see in the picture, pahayag. Uh, and third is mechanical parts. The first magnifying part is the eyepiece. The eyepiece is known as ocular lens. These are the lens located at the top of the microscope. This is where the viewer looks and see the magnified image of the specimen. Aside from this, the eyepiece also magnifies the image of the object. Its standard magnification is 10 times. Mona akong gilinginan da sa ibabaw, mona'y part ng eyepiece. Tawag siya eyepiece kaya diha tamutan aw kung magbutang ta og specimen diha sa may stage ng part. The second magnifying part are the objective lenses. Just like the ocular lens, their main job is to magnify the specimen under observation. These are the major lenses used for specimen visualization. Most schools have light microscope with three objectives, other have four. So, wakan ang akong gilingin ng linha, mauna ang objective lenses. Kung naapata karon sa face to face, makitan unta ninyo ang actual nga microscope. Makahikap punta mo, makitan ka ninyo nga magbutang tao, specimen. So, makitan ninyo ma makita ninyo dito ang unsa ang magnification, unsa ang resolution. The typical objective lenses are the following. First, low power objective has a magnification power of 10 times. It is used to see the general outline of the specimen. The second has a high power objective. It has a magnification power of 40 times. It is used to view structures from a larger perspective. The last one is the oil immersion objective. It has a magnification power of 100 times. It is usually the longest objective and used to view bacteria, very small protist, and fungi. It requires to use a special oil. So, ang objective lenses na ito lo kabuo sa na inaka label diha nga. 10 times, 40 times, and last one is the 100 times. So, sa 10 times, sa makitan, general outline of the specimen. In the high power objective, sa makitan, view structures from a larger perspective. Then, the last one, the oil immersion objective, it has a magnification power of 100 times. Unsa na may, unsa may, makita na yun nato ani nga objective lenses makabiu na siya sa it, sa itsura sa bacteria very small protist and fungi so we are done with the magnifying part of the microscope let us proceed to the illuminating part of the microscope the word illuminate means give light therefore there are parts of the microscope that supply and regulate light towards the specimen. First, we have the mirror. The function of the mirror 
is to reflect light from the external light source up through the bottom of the stage, which illuminate the specimen. The light source can be in the form of natural light, just like light from the sun, and an artificial light from a lamp. So, nakita na nyo di ha nga ay araw nga yan, no? So, mao na part nga itawag na mirror. So, what is the function of the mirror? Is to reflect light from the external light source. So, what is illuminate means to give light. Second is the diaphragm. It is located under the stage. This part controls the amount of light reaches the specimen. This is important because it provides enough light in viewing the specimen. So, na ay arrow diha sa picture nga blue. Diha nakabutang ang diaphragm. So, what is the function of the diaphragm? Controls the amount of light that reaches the specimen. Third is the condenser. This part collects and focuses light from the mirror to the specimen. So, na ay blow nga aro din ha sa picture. Diha, diha po na butang ang condenser. So, what is the function of the condenser? Collects and focuses light from the mirror to the specimen. So, what are the three illuminating parts of the microscope? Mirror. Diaphragm and condenser. Very good. Okay, we are done with the magnifying and illuminating parts of the microscope. Let us explore the mechanical parts of the microscope. The next parts are the adjusting knobs. These adjusting knobs are used to focus the microscope. There are two types of adjusting knobs in a microscope. The coarse adjusting knob and the fine adjusting knob. So the coarse adjusting knob, the function is moves the body tube and low power lenses closer or farther away from the stage to the view the image of the specimen. The coarse adjusting knob should only be used with low power objective. Second is the fine adjusting knob. It is used to bring the specimen into sharp focus to show clearly the detailed parts of the specimen. It is used under the low power or it is used for focusing when using high power lenses. So, Santiya, nakaremember pa ba ka sa magnification sa low power? Um, Kuan to siya, ma'am? Uh, 10x. 10 times. 10 times. Okay? Ang high power, pila gani? 40 times to ma'am, or 40 times. Then, the last one, the oil immersion. Kuan, um, 100 times. Okay, very good, Santiago. Do you still remember our lesson? So, let's proceed to the body tube. Body tube or the draw tube, this tube holds the eyepiece, lens, and connects them to the objective lenses. So, naadiha sa yellow part, na ay aro din ha, mauna siya ang body tube. So, ang revolving nose piece, this part holds the different objective lens and facilitate the changing of objectives. And this is the part that you turn to change the objective lens that you want to use. So, kanang ya pong na i-blow na po nga part, di ha ka mag-adjust magtuyok-tuyok diha para mo mo change ka sa imo magnification kung un, kung unsay gusto ni mo makitaan sa specimen so the other one kanang naay mga knobs mo nag ingon ang coarse adjusting knob ang ubos is the fine adjusting knob so kanang duha ang tawag ana niya is the adjusting knobs again the what is the function of the body tube santiya body tube so, ang body tube, ma'am, kay tawag po na anak niya kay draw tube. So, ang function anak niya kay siya ang mag-hold sa eyepiece lens and siya po ang mag-connect um, padong sa objective nga lenses. 
Okay, ang revolving no space on sa gani, on sa ang gani, sa gani function ana niya. So, ang kanang revolving no space, ma'am, kay mo na siya ang kanang mag-hold sa mga lahi-lahi ng mga objective lens. Pag mo po siya ang mag-facilitate sa pag-change sa mga objectives. So, ato i near or i far ng objective. And on kani siya nga part, it kanang, kanang mag, pwede siya mag-change into the objective lens nga gusto ni mo gamiton. So, atong, atong gusto gamiton kay gusto tayo nearer, pwede siya mag-change. O gusto po siya, basta po tao ka ng layo ng view, pwede ba na to siya ma-adjust. Okay, very excellent answer, Santia. Thank you. Okay, let's proceed to the arm of the microscope. Arm serve as the handle of the microscope in carrying it. Ako'y gilingin ang diha, mauna siya ang arm. So, the base serve as the support of the microscope. So, mauna siya ang base. Mauna siya ang muhatag support sa whole microscope. So, the arm and the base are connected by inclination joint. Na inclination joint, pakita niya sa kilid. Then, it allows the user to tell the microscope for more comfortable viewing, especially when you are sitting position. However, you must only tell the microscope when you are working with a dry specimen. Why? Para kung with ang imong specimen, sa imong specimen, of course, kaya mo siya. Pero, kung dry ang imong specimen, dili siya mayabo kung you do the tilting. Especially when you are sitting down. In your comfortable position. So, mag-tilt-tilt yun ang microscope. Kung mo siyang i-tilt-tilt kaya para makita ni mo ang view. Exact view sa Specimen. Okay? Now, stage is consists of stage clips. This clips holds the specimen slide in place. Nanong naa siya clip. Hindi mo kaya siya makita niya sa picture. Kanang gilingin na ako ang green. Mauna siya ang stage clip. Kung sa may function sa stage clip? Clip. No? Uh, meaning, siya ang mo-hold or siya ang mo-clip sa slide. Ang slide, diha ibutang ng specimen. Then, para dili siya mahulog in tilting-tilting, so, imong klipan. Okay? The next part is the stage. Ang sama ng stage, it is the flat surface where the mounted slide is placed. A slide is where the specimen is placed for observation. So, kanang black nga square din ha, mauna ang tawag na stage. Diha ni mo itong-tong ang slide na naanay specimen ready for viewing, ready for unsaman. Tanaw na ni mo kung unsay imong nakita. By the way, tilting the microscope liquid specimen can cause liquid to spill and flow into the metal part. This can cause rusting, which damages the function of the microscope. So, sa kung nang ginaingon, ilikab mo, pwede mag-tilting kung ang imong specimen is liquid. Pwede lang siya imong itilt kung ang imong specimen is dry. So, what happen if you, your specimen is liquid, ninibudo kag-tilting mo? spill out ang liquid so it can cause damage to the microscope so it's all what happened mag kaya mag -uba. so dili ta mo again dili ta mag tilting when the specimen is liquid is applicable for a dry specimen so those are the different parts of the microscope under functions. To sum it up, microscope is a tool that is used to see organisms that are too small to be seen by the naked eye. The microscope makes the small object look bigger. The parts of the microscope can be divided into three parts. First, magnifying. Second, illuminating. Third, mechanical part. So, microscope is important because Biology mainly deals with study of cells and their contents. 
the genes and all organisms. Microscope plays a crucial role in medical research and testing. Without the microscope, biology would not have been so developed and many diseases would still have to work. So, microscope li ay no, kay very important di kaayo sa world of science. Okay, let's review. Number one is the body tube. Number two is the nose piece. Three, four, and five is the magnification power. Six, stage clips. Seven, diaphragm. Light source, number eight, or the mirror. Number nine is the eyepiece. Ten, arm. Eleven, stage. Twelve and thirteen is the coarse adjustment and the fine adjustment. The last one is the base. To test your understanding about the different parts of the microscope, try to level the parts of the microscope, write your answer on the sheet of paper, and compare your answers to the answer key that is found at the end of this lesson. I hope you learn and enjoy the lesson. Stay safe and always be cautious. See you next time. Bye! Thank you.